All right, this is a video response to Fritz. Um, he made a video on queuing. If you didn't see it, go see it now. Um, this is how I use queue. Uh, I'm pretending this is on PA, so this one, and I'm on the queue, this one. What I'm gonna do is, of course, I'm gonna select the channel of queue. Then I put the queue mix. Let me show it to you like that. Hope you can see it. Uh, all the way to PFL, so that's Q. Then what I do is I put my iPhone. Sorry for that. All the way on my curves, and I will. Um, it's not a CDN, but I will find the Q point. Then what I'll do, I'm gonna switch this to here. Now what I'm gonna hear is both songs, but this one clearer so louder this allows me to beat match the song easily when I have beat matches I will move this to here what I hear now is most of the outputs I will uh, hear this a little bit louder but not too much the advantage of using this um, I mean this not this is that I can still see my PFL meter just for this just for that one it's easier for beat matching by the way, what I'll also do when I actually move the crossfader or use my faders, I will, just a moment, put my headphones on like this, with one here, here. It does look stupid with a with an ear or a hand, but I will hear whether uh, I make a mistake on my faders. Uh, I need to hear if, I, if the song coming here is the same as here so, to the speakers. This is error correction. You, you never know whether there's a there's a connection wrong or a failure up and down. The switch here, there are all sorts of things that can go wrong, so you'll hear it. That's why I use my Q mix and my headphones like this. Okay. Hope this has been helped. Bye.